हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू आवर हरिहरन एक्सप्रेस चैनल आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन एंड आर्किटेक्चर टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अनदर टॉपिक दैट इज मेमोरी रिलेटेड सो व्हाट आर द दैट इज रोल ऑफ राम रोम and main memory in computer memory system we will discuss uh, uh, that is a uh, different different uh, memory the structure or how it is it uh, uh, generate through certain um, that is a uh, concept of registers or how many registers are required or how it will uh, construct so based on that uh, different different concept regarding on a memory system i will explain but what is the role of uh, different uh, memory whenever you will use to store or any other purpose that related uh, i will uh, discuss okay so now uh, let us we uh, start we know that that is a uh, no, general uh, memory whenever you really use basically uh, two three memory all of you know that that is a main memory secondary memory or whenever we divide any memory system then normally all of you know that that is a uh, either go through ram or rom these two uh, this kind of uh, memory all of you know that but how it is working how it is uh, used in memory system that we will discuss today okay now see the main memory actually is the central storage unit in a computer system all of you know that because uh, maybe temporary or maybe permanent or something different but the main memory is the central storage unit in a computer system and another is uh, it is a large and fast memory used to store programs and data during the computer operation whenever e we use different different operations then we will use main memory for our requirement because the diff, uh, whenever we use different data for our requirement different storage data we will use storage program we will use different tools we can use through this uh, memory then what happens it is used as a very fast memory whenever different different operations are used in computer system okay and uh, the principal technology used for the main memory is based on semiconductor integrated circuit actually it is built by semiconductor integrated circuits it is actually purely electronic concept but we don't go through that we will discuss how different different uh, concept behind of ram or rom or any number of memory i will discuss or i will explain and another is uh, integrated circuit uh, ram chips are available you see whenever i discuss this part integrated circuit uh, ram chips are available in two possible operating modes okay normally one is a static mode another is dynamic dynamic mode okay one is static mode another is dynamic mode static mode means it uses that is the memory store some data for few time static dynamically it will changes whenever you use any kind of data through this ram okay we will discuss that but how uh, it is static or how it is uh, uh, dynamic normally the static uh, ram consists of uh, some essential internal c++ whenever you develop any ram it contains uh, internal c++ that store binary information okay in uh, that is uh, the engineer who may want to made that uh, static ram it is uh, through some certain flip flops 
it built okay and it stores it as a binary information this is the basic concept regarding on stratigram and it is store that is uh, the stored information remains valid you see i told that is it remains valid as long power is applied to the unit the static okay the static ram will uh, define the static ram in such way that that is it keeps the data or any kind of a stored information up to power is applied to the to, to that unit that the computer system once power is gone then it will the whole data will be vanish okay this is the uh, concept of a uh, static ram if we go through dynamic ram then it stores the binary information in the form of electric charges okay in the form of electric charges that are applied to capacitor some capacitor we applied through some certain uh, electric charges so randomly or dynamically ra ram stores some binary information and uh, that uh, capacitors also provided inside the chip that is actually it is electronic concept how that a dynamic ram is built okay so the capacitor also provided some inside a chip by mos uh, trans trans um, the transistors mos transistor is actually electronic uh, concept that is mos mos uh, transistors and uh, another reason uh, if we go through other part one part is uh, ram part another part is rom part okay so among on among other things uh, if we go through another part of our memory that is rom rom the read only memory okay rom portion of memory is needed for storing an initial program called bootstrap loader okay initially different different data or programs actually uh, we collect uh, that is programs which is stored in rom read only memory that cannot be vanished it is permanent store in rom it is non volatile not uh, it is volatile okay if we go through <laughs> that is uh, ram and rom then what happens two things we can consider if we go through ram and rom ram is a random access memory you see very simply it is mentioned that is uh, ram and rom it is a random access memory the concept of ram is a random access memory randomly access the memory rom is it is a read only memory that means the data is there we just read the data or programs okay but if you go to ram you will execute different different data but rom it is store the data permanently this is the basic difference between ram and rom whenever i define it or distinguish the different topics is there but simple what are the uh, use how use ram and rom or what is the role of ram and rom we will discuss in this particular program a uh, particular memory system okay so since uh, uh, actually ram most of the work is done through ram but rom is since it is a permanent data stored then what happens different different programs inbuilt programs store in rom only <laughs> for example any uh, that is uh, tools or apps whenever store uh, or install in memory or in computer system it will store in rom whenever it is necessary then it that uh, particular uh, tools we can use since already executed data or executed program already stored in rom we collect that uh, program executed program and run that okay this is the basic concept of a rom it only store in different different programs and data also and it helps to make bootstrap whenever you start our program our computer system then what happens starting uh, um, when initiate that any kind of a program or a computer system then we go through bootstrap bootstrap is very very important and a bootstrap loader it uh, 
collect the different different inbuilt programs from rom only you see whenever you go through rom person then what happens since it is store different different programs bootstrap loader it collect the dot no, programs from rom then initiate different different programs whenever we start our computer system okay because different different tools um, means inbuilt tools or uh, application tools are there then bootstrap initiate all kind of a executive program okay whenever uh, program uh, computer is ready to work that is the concept of rom another is a bootstrap loader is a program whose function is to start the computer software operating system when a power is turned on very simple way because i think all of you know this uh, concept whenever i go through whenever uh, we will start our computer system then bootstrap loader it is a one kind of program that whose function is to start or initiate the computer software operating or uh, operating system when a power is turn on when we start our bottom okay power button when we push it okay, then boot strap loader that is a one kind of program it is initiate all kind of uh, tools through operating system okay that means uh, it is ready for a computer ready for work whenever all uh, that is a uh, tools are uh, initiated okay if we not initiated something some problem so it bootstrap through bootstrap we can find out uh, some error that means some problem is there it is not started or initiated any uh, inbuilt uh, tools or inbuilt uh, operation inbuilt program suppose this is really uh, done during uh, uh, when we start our bottom power button of the computer system okay we can find out if it is have some problem that is a booting problem we can tell as a booting problem bootstrap loader cannot identify cannot initiate that particular or number of uh, uh, programs inbuilt programs which are available in a computer system or also available in a rom okay uh, these are the basic concept of the bootstrap where bootstrap is uh, initiate any kind of programs okay so uh, if we compare to ram and rom so two things uh, uh, is important one is volatile another is non volatile volatile means data will vanish when the power is turn off okay that is that will happen through ram so ram is uh, volatile you see since ram is uh, volatile its contents are destroyed when power is uh, turn off okay whatever the data is stored in ram it will vanish they cannot be stored after power is gone or power is uh, turned off and in instead of uh, Uh, ram if you to uh, rom then what happens rom maintain the data which are available in rom e although power is uh, turn off okay for the reason you see content of rom remain unchanged there is no change what are the content in rom because it is already stored permanently after power is uh, turn off and uh, on again suppose we at any uh, situation suppose power is gone or power is turned off but data is there in rom there is no change of data once again again we uh, start rom or computer system then what are the data store in rom we can also see we can also retrieve those data there is no problem because already permanently it is stored okay another concept of uh, that is a uh, rom and a ram like 
we also defined through only that is volatile and a non volatile for that reason ram is a volatile where a data not permanently stored if we go through rom data is permanently stored okay and the startup of a computer computers consist of turning the power on and starting the execution of initial program actually why because you see when start up the computer system it consists consists of turning the power on and starting the execution of initial program because we have already discussed that is bootstrap header or loader it help the data collect from rom or collect uh, uh, collect programs from from rom and initiate and execute those programs okay so uh, that is uh, when all tools which are available then it is ready for execute as our requirement whenever you use different different times uh, whenever you use different programs are different times or different tools are different times because it has already ready once computer system started then what happens all tools should be ready not in between um, uh, uh, that is uh, after starting the computer system suppose any tool is uh, having some problem okay it should be ready whenever we start our computer system this is the basic concept so these are the basic concept regarding on ram and rom next we will see how what are the uh, that is ram and rom chips how it is built that uh, kind of concept i have to explain okay i will explain that part you see ram chip is better suited for communication with the cpu you see a ram is a one kind of chip it is better suited for communication with the uh, cpu if it has one or more control inputs that select the chip only when it is needed okay we can also use different different ram doesn't matter 1 gb 2 gb 4 gb doesn't matter based on the slots are in which is available in cpu but some selectors is there they will select which ram need to use that uh, concept also there i will i will tell you that part okay so whenever you use different different ram then what happens the select Uh, selection that is chip selection we can tell as a chip select uh, that is choose which ram need to use okay and another is uh, a bidirectional bus can be constructed with a three state buffers whenever you go through any kind of a chip either ram chip or rom chip okay some bidirectional bus is constructed through three state buffers three state buffers we have already discuss because one class uh, one lectures i have already discuss that is a three state buffers it has a three states one is a direct inputs another is um, another part or normal inputs another part is a output and another part is some control okay control control is there it controls that inputs whenever we will get output so three state is there by which we can tell as a that is a three state buffers i we, i have already discussed one lecture you can see that lectures next three state buffers output can be placed in one three possible states okay three possible states it use that is a signal equivalent to logic 1 a signal equivalent to logic 0 or high impedance state okay one signal that is a logic 1 if you give some inputs like this a logic 1 another is a logic 0 0 or 1 another is a high impedance that is a done through that is a control inputs that is high impedance means there is no effect of inputs data or output data that is a the circuit is open the data is passed there is no effect of the inputs data or output data okay that is high impedance that is open that that circuit or logic gate suppose that we use that is open there is no effect of that particular 
logics or logic gates. The logic 1 and 0 are normal digital signals. We know that because 1, 0 are normal digital signals. The high impedance states behaves like an open circuit. I told now high impedance means it is a open circuits, which means the output does not carry a signal and has no logic significance. Means it is open. Open means whatever the data that is uh, no output. Okay, output doesn't carry a signal because uh, once it is closed, then what happens? So we can find out whatever the data will provide to the circuit. Then uh, according to that, we can get the output. But since it is open, so data that is pass that is not obstacle or not measurement or not uh, giving any signal. Okay. So, in that case what happens uh, the output does not carry a signal whatever the inputs provide okay? and has no logic significance because uh, it is open how to find out the logic significance may be any logical operation cannot be done once uh, uh, high impedance state is in a circuit. Okay? So, these are the basic concept regarding on three uh, state buffer. Now, we will discuss another part of that RAM and ROM, ROM chip, how it is constructed. Okay? Okay? So, some <coughs> this uh, I will discuss uh, regarding on a RAM chip. Different different chips, uh, RAM chip, ROM chip is there, different chips are there, we will discuss. Okay? So, now we see, whenever uh, we will discuss the, this RAM chip, what are the concept behind that uh, particular uh, RAM? Normally, all of you know that they store some data and uh, write or uh, read some data in RAM. That part is there, does not matter and how much uh, bit is required depend on that. We will discuss that part and uh, how it will choose either read or write. Okay. You see, it is a one kind of block diagram of RAM. Uh, in this particular, this uh, RAM, you see, I, uh, I took that is the size of RAM is uh, 128, okay. 128 into Eight. It has a two part. One twenty eight into eight. Okay. One twenty eight into eight means uh, one twenty is a uh, address part. We define how it is defined. This is actually address part. Okay. Address part. One twenty eight is a uh, address part. And uh, another is uh, eight. It is word part. Okay. So, that is address part uh, define how much how much uh, bit is required to identify that address that is important because uh, what the capacity is defined that two part one is address part another is word part. Okay? That word part uh, is something different but address part is if more more capacity of RAM we can design. Okay? So, another is uh, how much uh, bit of data that also transfer transfer through that uh, that is uh, RAM we can also discuss. Now we see in this particular block diagram in this block diagram two select uh, select is there one is a chip select one chip select one another chip select two it recognized by CS one and CS two okay CS one and CS two. So, obviously, whenever you go through CS1 or CS2, you see that it is opposite uh, uh, symbols are there. One is simple CS1, another is complement of CS2. Okay? And uh, if you go through CS1, it is high. We can write it is high. Identify by 1. If you go through uh, chip select 2 or CS2, it is complement. That means it is a 0. So, we can tell. Uh, we can consider as a low. Okay, we can consider as a low. So CS1 is high, and CST, uh, CS2 complement is low. That is zero. 
those two select choose either read or write ok that two uh, that is select uh, choose either read or write depend on that how it will choose we will discuss that part ok. So, that means uh, why it is a read write because we know that most of the work is done through RAM both read and write can be done in RAM ok both read and write can be done in RAM if the signal is defined that is uh, 0 uh, that is a chip uh, select 1 then something we can do that means you will do some work if it is 0 chip select is 0 we can do anything ok another concept also select chip select 2 if it is 0 then what happens ok so it has certain constraint also there to choose for read or write operation any operations read or write operation this is the basic concept we will see and another is the size of uh, this ram if you define 128 into 8 other uh, that is size we can take it does not matter if you take it simple 128 into 8 then how much bit address we can consider ok if you write or read operation use how much maximum bit can be considered you see 128 here 128 means 2 to the power 7 that means the address bit can be considered 7 bit ok 7 bit address 7 bit address can be considered if ram is defined or constructed through 128 into 8 ok so this kind of things be careful we have to remember so very simply it is not so difficult so if we design this one so how much bit uh, address is required we can define in this way that is a 2 to the row 7 that is 128 7 bit address is required and another is 8 8 is 8 bit data bus it is passed to the bus common bus data bus from this uh, data sorry, sorry memory to any other ram to any other 8 bit data because it is mentioned that is 8 ok so this is the basic chip con con construction of chip or building of chip like this if we go through some functional table how it will work that is important ok so we consider that is uh, four parameter one is a cs1 cs2 cs1 if one then it will activate something cs2 is the one then it is something like this we will discuss that kind of functional table another is read and another is write memory function based on that we can see and a state of the data bus you see if we go through cs1 or cs2 if you both are zero then what happens there is no effect of read and write operation so memory function what happens what you will do it will consider that inhibit ok inhibit inhibit we can write inhibit ok we can write inhibit ok inhibit that means inhibit we also define inhibit and that function once under this inhibit that is uh, what uh, it is used or we can tell in that uh, function whenever circuit is open ok inhibit once uh, function is inhibit circuit is open by which uh, we can tell as uh, that is high impedance that is no effect of data whatever data we will provide that no effect of data some certain high impedance condition or situation will arise when cs1 and cs2 will be in this uh, data that is uh, if you go through 0 0 that situation arise if 0 1 that situation arise again another con 
concept is there when 1 and 0 you see 1 and 0 read and write again does not ready for operate operation for any kind of operation does not ready although it is 1 and 0. So, it also consider high impedance it is uh, we cannot that is avoid that but because uh, the design or design in such way that uh, at what time it will read or write ok. Another concept is uh, similarly whenever C S 1 1 and C S 2 0 then we choose again that is uh, 1 write if we write 1 then we write operation we will create or any kind of things if we write then we can write. That means uh, some input data transfer to RAM. If this situation C S 1 is 1, C S 2 is uh, complement that is 0, read does not activate, if we write is activate 1 by 1 then write operation can be done. That means input data transfer to RAM because whenever write anything sir, normally write operation use for what writing means uh, data transfer into memory any component to memory this is the basic concept of write ok because suppose memory is there so data transfer to memory RAM that is, here is RAM concept is there so data transfer to memory that means uh, we uh, provide input data into the memory ok another case if we, that is same that is 10 cs1 cs11 cs2, CS2 CS2 complement is 0 then what happens read operation will activate write operation nothing no need right not at a time read write okay then read operation is activated then what will do in that case what happens output data from ram okay output data from ram that means we collect the data from ram that is a read only memory only whatever data is there data transfer from ram to any other component not write that means we can read only we can't that is uh, write anything read means only read that cannot be write ok. So, output data from ram ram data collect from uh, data collect from ram or output data collect from ram. So, these two things is important the situation arise C S 1 and C S 2 complement in this way, but we have to activate either re write or read in this way ok. Again if both are 1 you see both are 1 you see both are 1 that is inhibit situation arise again circuit is open that is high impedance ok. Then what happens no data no output can be uh, generated because signal is uh, no signal of output since it is open ok. In that situation what happens we cannot do anything if it is uh, this situation arise. So, this is this functional table we have to remember uh, this is the basic concept whenever you write or write read through RAM ok. So, you have to remember this part how it is designed or how you use read and write. Now, see another part. Now, see if you go through function table specifies the operation of RAM chip unit the unit is in operation only when C S 1 is 1 and C S 2 is 0 in that situation we uh, update our operation you see C S 1 is 1 C S 2 is 0 you can C S 1 C S 2 0 read write operation we can consider in that situation ok. And another is the bar on the top of the second select of variables indicates that this input is enabled when it is equal to 0 ok when it is equal to 0. That means, uh, you see very simple way I will show you if it is 0 then what happens we can find out uh, 1 ok. So, the alternate case will consider then when either read or write it is uh, if it is 1 complement is will be 0 if it is 0 complement will be 1. 
like this we will consider this situation based on that we can choose right or read operation okay so we will think about this because this bar uh, on the top of the second selector is important because opposite of that select one if the chief, uh, chief select inputs are not enabled okay if chief select are, uh, are not enabled or if they are enabled but read write inputs are not enabled the memory is inhibited and its data bus in a high impedance okay both if a select in inputs are not enabled or read write uh, inputs are not enabled then high impedance okay in this situation you see the high impedance in this situation both are not enabled so then what happens these are enabled so it is operated but others are not operated you see very simple way that is mentioned okay so in which case read write operation will be enabled or there is a not enabled like this we'll, we have to see that when cs1 is 1 and cs2 is 0 the memory can be placed in a write or read operation okay very simple if a cs1 it is 1 no problem cs1 is 1 okay here is a cs2 is a 0 cs2 is a 0 means what cs2 complement is 1 both are 1 okay both are enabled if both are enabled then what happens memory can be placed in a write or read mode okay memory can be placed write or read mode because both are enabled cs1 enabled cs2 enabled here you see here cs1 is 1 no problem here what happens one okay because it is zero it is zero means cs2 is a one both are one read is uh, zero write is enabled if you write enabled so it is input data transfer to ram same thing it is one here is one read is enabled so read data that is the output data from ram so read operation we will consider in this way okay so this is the basic concept where at what situation it will be uh, high impedance or uh, CS1, CS2 enabled or not enabled, read write enabled or not enabled or at what situation read write operation can be done. We will see very simple way it is mentioned here. Okay. So, these are the basic concept regarding on that uh, read write uh, operation for RAM or through RAM. Now, again we see that is a memory address map okay how memory address map is done we will see again now we see the memory um, address uh, chip or memo uh, memory address map how it is a design i will show you the designer of a computer system must calculate a the uh, how much uh, amount of memory required for particular application and assigned it to the either ram or rom because uh, how much uh, uh, data is required or memory is required to store for ram and rom this will be designed through designer okay so some interconnection between memory and a processor is uh, then established from knowledge of size of the memory needed and a type of RAM and a ROM chips are available. But based on that, because we cannot store more amount of uh, memory if size is very less based on the RAM and a ROM chips. Okay, based on the RAM and ROM, how much um, data can be stored or how what how much program data can be stored like this. So based on the RAM and the ROM capacity we have to use number of data or number of uh, information can be uh, um, stored or data can be used okay so depend on the capacity of ram and rom chips and the addressing of a memory can be established by means of a table that specifies the memory address 
assigned to each chip because uh, which uh, that is a uh, ram will use or rom we can use that will also design because not randomly you can use ram and rom how which at what time ram is used or rom will be used that is also design okay the table called memory address map i will show you the table called memory address map is pict uh, pictorial representation of assigned address space for each chip in the system i will show you how that uh, particular uh, memory address map is uh, designed and uh, how it is used okay and uh, if a number of rams are there how it will uh, select which ram will be used what is the status how it is uh, designed okay i will show you and another is uh, to demonstrate uh, with the particular example example suppose we will consider that is a certain size of a ram or rom you see uh, suppose a computer system needs 512 bytes of ram 512 bytes of rom for example okay the memory address map for this configuration i will show you that is how it is designed that is 512 ram and 512 rom so size will be how much size that is 512 into we can consider 8 because uh, if 8 bit data bus is required then 8 bit if it is 16 bit then we can write uh, that is 512 into 16 it depend on, on that uh, how much data uh, bit is required okay so based on that and the component uh, column uh, specifies with the ram and rom chip is used which uh, uh, ram or rom which i will show you another is uh, that is hexadecimal address column assigned a range of hexadecimal equivalent address for chip because hexadecimal like why it is considered because most of the time maximum 16 uh, bit address will be considered for that reason it is a hexadecimal address okay and the address bus lines are still i will show you that is uh, how to define that address bus line but uh, normally address uh, um, map whenever consider normally 16 bit we will consider i will show you okay <coughs> if we go through this uh, if a rom designed then for example 512 into 8 so 512 means how much Uh, that is a bit address 5 12 okay 5 12 means 2 to the power 9 so 9 bit address is required if the rom contains this size 5 12 okay 5 12 into 8 then if 8 bit so the 8 bit data bus is required but address number of data bit address 9 bit address is required for rom if the size of rom is 9 12 so 5 12 into 8 okay another is uh, if we go through certain uh, selection point of view you see since rom is used only read only memory that no selection uh, is required for read and write only read operation is required so for that reason there is no option is there only read we know that rom read only memory means it is read only read the data from rom so there is it is a one option there is no other option for that reason there is no option choose by either cs1 cs2 by 0110 but it it will be only enabled cs1 like we can here write cs1 should be 1 and cs2 should be zero here cs2 complement will be one in that case what happens this rom receive the data sorry sending the data from this to another okay another component so read only memory whenever the situation arises cs1 is it will be one okay it will be one where cs2 uh, will be 
but enable point of view it will be 1. In that situation, we have to check uh, very carefully. Okay? This is the basic structure of the ROM chip. We will you discuss the remaining part of that ROM. Now, we see although there are 16 lines in the address bus, the table shows, I will show the table that is 10 lines. You see, 10 lines will consider because the 6 are not used in this example because it is a very less RAM and ROM size will consider. For the reason, will you consider only 10 lines okay and remaining to should be 0 that means out of 16 if we consider 16 line bus okay 10 are used 10 are used 6 are not used that means it is 0 6 lines will be 0 I will show you up to 10 okay and uh, which are not used then uh, 0 only so no need because only 0 and uh, within 10 what happens uh, so small axis under the address bus lines designate those lines that must be connected to the address inputs into the chip within that 10 lines you see the 10 lines uh, some address used for ram and some address used for rom i will show you how uh, some lines are used for RAM and uh, another will be ROM. First of all, you see RAM chips uh, have 128. We will consider very initially, uh, initially uh, I consider that is a uh, RAM chips suppose 128 bits. So, if it is 128 bits, uh, it needs 7 address. We can take more, does not matter. But uh, if you consider, uh, suppose uh, I, uh, I will consider 128. So, how many uh, bit address is required? Obviously, two to 128 to 2 to the power 7, that is 7 bit address lines are required. Okay. Next, ROM chip. ROM chip has 512 bytes. Okay. 512 bytes, just I uh, explained that is, uh, here is uh, suppose 512 bytes. If you 512 bytes, then it needs how much? Uh, that is 9 address lines okay it needs 9 address lines and the x's are always assigned x's are always assigned to the low order bus okay suppose x x is a low order bus that is lines 1 through 7 for ram because 128 bytes used for ram obviously that is a 7 bytes or 7 bits are required Okay, 1 to 7 and uh, line 1 to 9 are used for ROM. Okay, are used for ROM. Similarly, others also we can uh, consider if you more we consider does not matter, but uh, if since it is uh, we consider 128, so we consider that uh, uh, 7 bit uh, 7 1 to 7 for RAM and uh, 512 bytes that is 1 to 9 for this uh, ROM and it is now necessary to distinguish between 4 RAM chips by assigning to each different addresses. I will consider that 4 RAMs, I will show you how it is considered based on that 1 to 7, okay, I will show you and uh, another is uh, for this particular example, uh, we chose that is bus line 8 and 9 represent 4 distinct binary combinations okay? and other pairs also use, but uh, if others, uh, although others lines are so there, but those are unused. So, any other pair with unused bus lines can be chosen for this purpose, we will see. Okay? Now, how it is defined? Here we see the important part of this uh, lines and how those lines are uh, used or columns also we can use here. Now you see there is a memory address map for a micro uh, computer or a small uh, that is computer, but uh, here we will also consider 
फोर नम्बर अफ राम राम वन राम टू राम थ्री राम फोर एंड एट लास्ट दैर इज रोम ओके नाउ वी सी आई मेनशन हियर वन टू वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवेन एट नाइन टेन टेन कलम्स आई यूज आई हाव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड आउट ऑफ सिक्सटीन यू सी आउट ऑफ सिक्सटीन लाइन्स टेन लाइन्स आर कन्सिडर फॉर दिस पर्पज ओके एंड सिक्स लाइन्स आर जीरो सिक्स लाइन्स आर जीरो सो विल कन्सिडर ओनली टेन लाइन्स सो टेन लाइन्स बेस्ड ऑन टेन लाइन्स विल डिफाइन हुईज लाइन्स यूज फॉर हार्ट पर्पज ओके हि आर सम कंपोनेट्स फोर कंपोनेट्स एंड राम एंड वन रोम यू सी इनिशियली आई टोल्ड दैट इज जस्ट बिफोर वन टू सेवेन इट इज यूज दैट एक्स ऑल आर एक्स बिकॉज वन ट्वेंटी दैट इज ए वन टू सेवेन मीन्स दैट टू टू दवार सेवेन यू कैन कैलकुलेट टू टू दवार सेवेन इज वन ट्वेंटी एट ओके कैपासीटी इज वन ट्वेंटी एट फर राम वी हाव ऑलरेडी टेकन राम फर राम कैपासीटी इज वन ट्वेंटी सेवेन बट आफ्टर दैट दे विल चूज दैट इज हुई राम विल बी कन्सिडर फर द रिजन यू सी वन टू सेवेन इट इज कमन यू सी ऑल आर एक्स इट इज बिकॉज वन ट्वेंटी एट कैपासीटी टू टू दवेन सो वन सेवेन अफ टू सेवेन वन टू सेवेन ऑल आर यूज फर राम ओके यू सी ऑल आर यूज फर राम हियर यू सी ऑल आर यूज फर राम आफ्टर दैट सिंस इट हेज फोर राम देन हुईच राम विल चूज हाउ टू इवाल्युएट ओके हाउ टू इवाल्युएट इट इज डिपेंड ऑन दिस एट्थ लाइन एंड नाइन्थ लाइन बेस्ड ऑन दैट हुईच राम विल बी चोज सो वेरी सिंपल वे इट इज मेनसन अल ऑफ यू सी दैट यू सी इफ यू एट्थ लाइन नाइन्थ लाइन इज चोज हियर चोज सब जीरो 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 दैट इज फोर ऑप्शन दैट इज दैट इज सिंस इट इज ए फोर राम इट इज चोज बाय दैट इज ए जीरो वन टू थ्री बिकॉज फोर राम फॉर जीरो वैल्यू राम वन वन वैल्यू टू टू वैल्यू राम थ्री थ्री वैल्यू राम फोर लाइक दिस वी हैव टू चूज सो लाइक दिस ओके सिंस दैट इज जीरो वन टू फोर द पोजिशन वैल्यू बट कंपोनेंट वैल्यू राम वन राम टू राम थ्री राम फोर दिस पोजिशन वैल्यू डिफाइन थ्रू टू दैट इज लाइन्स डिजाइन थ्रू इफ यू गो थ्रू जीरो देन डेफिनेट इफ यू सिलेक्टर्स और एनी लाइन्स चूज बाय जीरो 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 इज जीरो जीरो वन इज वन वन जीरो इज वन टू वन वन इज थ्री बेस्ड ऑन दैट यू सी एट एंड नाइन लाइन डिफाइन इन दिस वे लाइक जीरो जीरो दैट इज जीरो 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 इज जीरो जीरो इज फर वन राम वन हिट मेन्शन जीरो इज फर राम वन हिट जीरो वन जीरो वन दैट इज वन वन यूज फर राम टू हियर वन जीरो दैट इज टू टू इज फर राम थ्री हियर वन वन दैट इज थ्री नंबर थ्री दैट इज राम फोर सो दिस फोर राम आर यूज इन दिस मैनर दिस बाइनरी डिजिट जीरो 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 वन वन जीरो वन वन लाइक दिस फोर राम आर यूज इन दिस मैनर ओके इन दैट केस व्हाट एपन्स सिंस रोम आर नॉट यूज सो ऑल आर एक्स ओके ऑल आर एक्स इन फ्यूचर यू कैन ऑल्सो यूज डज मैटर बिकॉज इट डोंट कैर कंडीशन यू कैन अप्लाई बट हियर ऑल आर एक्स नॉट जीरो जीरो इज समथिंग डिफरेंट यू कैन यूज द ऑल आर एक्स सो इन दिस पार्ट व्हाट एपन्स यू सी हियर इन दिस पार्ट दैट इज ऑल आर एक्स अप टू सेवेन आफ्टर दैट एगेन सिंस राम आर यूज सो रोम पार्ट आर एक्स ओके Now, all RAM will never apply or used. Then, next part is coming for ROM. So, ROM part will never used. Then, what happens? ROM part is activate or enabled. So, ROM will be enabled. That is one. Okay, that will be one. So, other part will be X. 
in that case what happens rom will be activate and ram will be at that time not may be may or may not be activated but only rom will be activate okay so this is the that is the address table on which if it different different rom or ram or different ram or rom you use based on that it will choose through certain number of lines okay the very simple way i defined this kind of things suppose one ram no need only one line is choose we can choose if two ram no need that we can choose zero or one like this this doesn't matter if more then we can use two lines eight and nine nine lines both lines we can use if you more ram also we can normally four ram slot are there normally not more than that normally if you more ram so, suppose you use then what happens again another line also choose that is the 10th line also use for ram if you uh, more than four rams use okay in that case what happens three uh, selector selection is required if you five six seven ram suppose you use in a computer system then we can use 8 9 10 10 lines for ram and rom is used next okay based on that so how it is designed how it is defined we can choose accordingly okay so this is the basic concept regarding uh, that is address map for ram and rom okay memory address map so again we can very simple way we can uh, define that is uh, the equivalent hexadecimal address for each uh, chip is uh, obtained from the information under this address bus assignment address bus lines are subdivided sub into groups of four bits and so that each group can be represented with a hexadecimal digit because four four groups normally we can use four four groups to define easily and the first hexadecimal digit represents uh, lines uh, 13 to 16 okay 13 to 16 13 14 15 16 13 14 15 16 first four uh, digits or lines used for that and is always zero because we have already discussed that is 16 lines out of 16 lines 10 lines are used six lines are zero so last four uh, lines for last towards uh, last means 16 15 14 and 13 will be zero okay as per this our construction of that uh, memory maps and the uh, next uh, hexadecimal uh, digit represents uh, 9 to 12 okay but lines uh, 11 12 are always zero because uh, we have already discussed this part if you go through ram and rom you see up to 10 we consider so 11 12 is zero no need because uh, it is under Uh, six uh, lines first four lines uh, is zero next uh, two lines also zero so how many lines are zero normally we can tell that is uh, suppose here is 16 15 14 13 four four groups it is a uh, zero okay again what happens 12 and 11 it is a uh, zero remaining that is uh, if you go to 10 9 8 7 Six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So these lines are used in this uh, particular model. Okay. So other part is zero. That means the eleven to sixteen are zero values. I mentioned here. Here the range of hexadecimal addresses for each component is determined from X is associated with it. Okay. because range of uh, that is mentioned you see 1 to 7 all are x okay all are x and also here also 9 and 8 9 for rom this part also x we will consider this x associated with the, the different different lines these x these x represent a binary number that can range from all zeros to one ones okay the range is 0 and 1 but whenever necessary we can use but now not consider okay so this are to consider this we consider or we will x no we will consider this x either 0 or 1 but not now in future also we can use 
So this is the basic concept regarding uh, RAM and ROM, different uh, memory address with uh, different ways. Okay. So I hope all of you all of you understand this uh, particular topic that is uh, RAM and uh, ROM chip or role of uh, RAM and uh, ROM. Okay. Or different different concept also I have already defined. Okay. I hope all of you under understand this part. RAM and ROM is very important for the computer system. Okay. So I think all of you understand this theoretical part, although it is a theoretical part. Uh, so I hope all of you understand this part. Okay. Thanks. Thanks to all. Uh, how I define this uh, RAM and ROM and uh, other memory for this uh, memory system. Okay, I think all of you understand this part. So thanks, thanks to all to watch my videos. Please, uh, that is a uh, uh, subscribe my channel. If you want to give any comments, you can also give some comments. Okay, thanks, thanks to all.